Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the MetaNerd channel. I am Marcus, bringing you another video for Carfight Vanguard Overdress. Now, of course, this video, we will be taking a look at Leonorn, which is the last right line of the three new troll decks that we will be getting. When you take a Neo Nectar, combine it with Harry, you get Leonorn. <laughs> I mean, Neo Nectar Harry. I don't see a difference. In any case, we're getting sidetracked. So, Leonorn is an interesting deck, which basically introduced something that we don't really see, even for the OG era. Let's take a look at that. So, for the Great One, we have Budding of Pleasant Sounds Gracia. Gracia. Auto when this unit is rolled upon by Brilliant Tune Rectina. You may call this card to Rigor Circle. Second skill, continuous Rigor Circle. During the battle, this unit boosted a Vanguard. This unit gets 5k power. So this is basically two things in one. She's, she serves as a right target as well as a 13k booster, which is super, super nice. Of course, this is only for Vanguard. But then again, once we see Leonorn's skill, then that's a different story. So she basically helps your turn two turn where you write the grade two, which is Rectina. That whole column is going to be either a Odo No Guard or just a one to pass depending on if your opponent wants to gamble that or not because the whole that whole column will be a 23k attack on your second turn which is super disgusting and do keep in mind the power bonus is stackable if you have like all three gracia in your back row now why is this a stackable once we get into leonor we will then understand why this is probably going to be the most disgusting booster you have ever seen well on the vanguard attack that is not so much on the rear guard oh and do remember since the td only provide you one Gracia, uh, you might want to buy four just in case, you know, if you're planning to play four Gracia because there's only one Gracia in the whole of the TD. So you might consider buying four TDs. The Great 2, Brilliant Tune Rectina. Auto when this unit is rolled upon by a unit with Leonorn in its card name, cost so bless one, choose a great one or less card from your drop zone and call it to Rearguard Circle. Second skill, Continuous Rearguard Circle. If your back row has three or more Rearguards, this unit gets boost. So she basically recycles one of your great ones that is either being discarded to right or so blast because this unit does have so blast or gets retired for some reason because the great one is actually real like really really important i mean much more important than your attackers i would say in order to basically unlock leonorn skill although she will not be as bad of a booster because just in case you don't have any like any great ones i mean as we all know stoikea has ways to superior call from the drop zone in any right line so she's not a bad target to be superior call if you don't have like any good great ones in a drop zone because of the second skill if your back row has three or more rear guards which this card does takes into account if you like put her behind you only need two more great ones at the back row for this unit to unlock a boost which is super nice this is actually really nice this card and not to mention the art is actually very nice it's not like very neo nectary i mean it is kind of neo nectar because of the flowers and everything but uh, she's basically inside a ban i would say like a military band not so much on the military side but a band it is you basically form your board of bands and then you just attack with it that's basically leonor in a nutshell but this grade 2 is actually not too bad of a card i mean the whole the grade 1 and grade 2 is really really nice in leonor band master of blossing bonds leonor continuous when this card would be rolled upon it is also regarded as grand march of full bloom leonor second skill auto vanguard circle when this unit attacks cost so bless one this and discard a card from your hand and boost Boost this unit with all of your front row stand unit with boost. If you boosted this unit with three or more units, this unit gets drive plus one until the end of that battle. And at the end of that battle, choose two of your back row rearguards and stand them. Third skill, continuous rearguard circle. During the battle, this unit is boosted. This unit gets 5k power. We actually have a lot to unpack here. So we, of course, we do have the similar personal right clause as the other two right line. Basically, all three new trial decks has this skill, which is surprising. Uh, and I think it's quite a nice change if you ask me, because, because because in order to keep up with the current grade 4 meta, I would say, I mean, there are decks that don't really use the grade 4 to be meta. We have the skill which is quite powerful as a form of a trial deck, which is not too bad. So from her skill, this basically means that the center column is going to be super big due to three units boosting Leonor herself. <laughs> I mean, if all three back row is going to be 8k, that's 24k boosting to Leonor, which means that the whole attack is going to be at 37 without any skill. <laughs> and not to mention triple drive, which is something that is going to be really scary in the late game. Any skill that activates when they are boosting, it's gonna benefit twice because you boost the Vanguard again and then since 
Leonorn does restands two of them, but most probably it's gonna be your left and right back row rear guards, which means that if you boost the rear guard to attack again, you're most probably gonna get that boost skill again, which is super super nice. Similar to what the other Stoikia has, the weakness of this right line seems to be retiring as well. So if you go against something like Barrow Magnus or the infamous Gravidia, this deck is gonna be a in a little bit of a trouble because you know, as most Stoikia deck ex with the exception of Zorga, that is. Zorga wants you to retire the roaming prison dragon. <laughs> but th this one will have a little bit of a problem because you need to reset up your board again and you might not necessarily have three great ones, which is gonna be devastating if you ask me. But of course, we don't really see like the triple R support for Leonorn for DBT-06 yet. So that may change things. At this moment, Leonorn is a three attack deck because you know, there's no multi attacker or something. But I would say that that might be a card that basically attack from the back row and is a great one with boost make that happen <laughs> but it, hey it's 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 just my personal speculation but who knows leonon might not need that back row attacker so let's see what other supports that leonon actually has in the td lively rhythm biara auto rigor circle when the attack this unit boost hits a vanguard cost put a great two or less card from your hand into your soul and draw a card so this basically lets you change your cards in your hand while giving you the soul resource not too bad and not to mention if you do like boost and hit twice once while boosting your vanguard and the second while boosting either side of your rear guard you can basically just like exchange your card for more soul and also dig deeper for your key pieces which is super super nice this card is actually not too bad but the restriction of you only putting grade three or less from your hand is a little bit like are you gonna put a trigger to the soul unless your hand is like all triggers then maybe <laughs> it could benefit you and it could backfire at the same time because you know it's not exactly that great of a cost if you ask me i mean the, the core concept of the skill is actually super nice but the cost is a little bit funky if that makes sense next card we have clapping dragon so uh what's your role in your this band that you have oh simply clapping Okay. <laughs> Out of when this unit is placed on front row rearguard from hand, if you have three or more back row units, cost counter blast one, draw a card. And if your opponent's vanguard is greater or greater, this unit gets tanky power until the end of turn. This is quite a beefy attacker for a Leonorn deck. And what's more, he basically replaces himself because you call him out, counter blast one, you draw back that card, which is super nice if you ask me. He is a 41k with personal right as well as an 8k booster. Yeah, although I make the joke of him clapping, but uh, he's gonna clap you instead of clapping his hands. I'm telling you that. <laughs> this card is probably gonna be a stapler. I mean, Cattle Blast want to draw one and get a 10k. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just, this is probably a stapler. For now, unless of course there's some other cards that is gonna outpower this card, I don't think this card will go anywhere anytime soon. Lastly, of course, we have is Fun Fun Marching. You basically pay one soul to play this card and it gives all your great one or less rear guards the power of 5k until the end of turn, which... Yes. In a sense, it's gonna give 5k to your left and right column, provided your front row is uh, anything but a great one. And a 15k to center column. Think about that. So I was saying that Leonor will be attacking for 37k, provided you have 8k great ones in your back rows, all three of them. If you play this card, Leonor is gonna be 52k. <laughs> this is such a stupid number. <laughs> you don't necessarily need personal right if that's the case. I mean, you do need for your left and right column but uh, the Vanguard, not really. <laughs> but specifically, Grid 1 or less, which is a, a little bit weird. I mean, just a little bit weird. Grid 1 or less. I mean, yeah, Grid 1 and Grid 0 has the ability to boost, but you know, it's kind of suck for Grid 2 as well because as we see from the Grid 2 right line, she does get boost, but uh, she will not be benefit from the 5k power, which is super, super sad. But hey, this is a massive power up for just a mere 5k power to each Grid 1 rear I think this is probably probably one of the more important support cards for Leonorn in this deck. And that is all. Yeah, we don't really have a lot of Leonorn cards. Do like and subscribe if you like this video and of course during the bell notification icon so that you don't miss a video I upload. With that being said, I'll see you all on the film.